Uh, so we've uh, just stopped to have a quick lunch. Um, tell us what we're eating, by the way, before I get to the politics. Proper South Indian fare. Mm -hmm. Chawal mm -hmm. with some non-vegetarian mm -hmm. lamb, mm -hmm. some dal and some papu charu, which is basically what is that? lentil soup with a lot of veggies in it. Sounds very healthy. Mm -hmm. So let's come back to the politics. We just Today saw that. We just saw the road show. Mm -hmm. Some of the slogans from the ground. People were very excited about seeing you and they want you to be chief minister. So let me ask you. There was talk that there could be a generational shift that your father could make way for you. Won't we ever see you as a chief ministerial contender? Well, honestly speaking, you know, to be where I am, a very privileged position as a minister mm. in itself is something that I have never dreamt of. Mm. So to want anything beyond this is absolute greed. But people I'm wanted happy. it. That no. was the, um, the sort of cries from the crowd. You know, that was some of our party workers would probably want to do that. But uh, I think our chief minister is young. He's in the pink of his health. And I think he has an item hit in him to go on for longer. So I don't see any reason. And also, honestly speaking, like I said, I'm a privileged Hmm. Uh, you know, uh, entrant into politics. Hmm. To they never did I think, never did I thought it. Never did I think that I would be in this position. Hmm. Like I said, and, uh, to want anything more is honestly. Hmm. What is the one thing you do differently from your father in politics? I have lunch with Barkada. <laughs> I don't think. I hope, I hope I can have lunch <laughs> with KCR one day. <laughs> I'm saying hmm. I don't think he's done that in the past. So, but yeah. No, uh, all I'm saying is he's he belongs to a different generation. Hmm. So maybe there are a few things which uh, um, I do, which is slightly different. I'm probably more uh, new age that way. I probably engage more. Mm -hmm. um, he comes from the old school where, uh, you know, people come to hear him, mm -hmm. cheer him. And he was the leader of the movement. So he has a special aura. Uh, he has a special aura that none of us do. He's uh, the leader of the movement. He's principally responsible for the formation of the state. Mm -hmm. So he has a certain aura that uh, none of us in Telangana politics, cutting across different parties. Mm. Uh, can I serve you some? This, this is, is aloo. Tomato is aloo. and aloo together. Oh. So this Delicious. Is possibly it's quite spicy though, the food. It is, right? it is. It is. Bas, 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 I'll the become an aloo food. myself if I eat more aloo. The, te mm. <laughs> the Telugu food is uh, quite spicy. It's quite spicy. Andhra no, but listen, Telugu. you're talking about your father having a different style. One of the criticisms about him is that he's not accessible. He, he's not he, accessible. he doesn't meet people enough. He doesn't meet his MLAs enough. How do you respond to that criticism? That's not at all true. He's, uh, he's been accessible and he's been... Basically, as a leader of the state, mm. he's been doing things in a, with a missionary zeal. You know, he's, he's the first chief minister in the country to have completed a drinking water project, which provides portable drinking water connection mm. to every home. So these sort of things require a single-minded pursuit. He's completed the world's largest lift irrigation project. He's made Telangana, which was a barren land, into now the granary of India. Mm. These are no mean achievements. Do you, uh, do you both think similarly politically or do you have a different take? For example, of course, suppose yes. you fall short of the majority after elections would and there was the possibility of aligning with the BJP, would you do it? Absolutely. Firstly, we will not short, fall short. Because, if you do? Well, if you is a question that uh, I think will not arise. So I would rather not, uh, you know, but the, the fact is we fought five elections, Barka. Hmm. 2004, we aligned with uh, Congress. Mm. 2009, we aligned with uh, Communists and the TDP. Mm. 2014, 18 and 23, we're fighting alone. We have never aligned with BJP ever in our history. And secondly, we've not even aligned with them in a local body election. So, I would say that, you know, if anybody has aligned in Telangana with BJP, it is the Congress. They have, in fact, they have shared the bed in two local municipalities here, mm. Maktal and uh, Manikonda. Mm. They still are together. Mm. And they, in fact, had a tacit understanding last time in parliament elections, where three BJP MPs, Adilabad, Nizamabad and Karimnagar, all three of them were supported by Congress Kader and the vote was... You're saying the Congress and the BJP have a de facto understanding yes. in some seats? You can go and check it out in the, in the, in the, in the ground. The ground reality is in Adilabad, Nizamabad, and Karim Nagar, hmm. the Congress cadre worked for BJP last parliament. Talking about alliances. And even now, by the way. Okay, we'll put that the to three, the... The three rabble rousers yeah. of the BJP, Raja Singh, mm -hmm. Bandi Sanjay, mm -hmm. and uh, Dharmapuri Arvind, who are known Muslim haters, yeah. who spew venom day in, day out. Congress has put a dummy candidate in the three of them. But why? 
क्योंकि बीजेपी के साथ अंडरस्टैंडिंग है और क्या आपको शायद दिल्ली में भी दिल्ली में दिल्ली में जो मीडिया हाउसेस हैं दिल्ली में जो जर्नलिस्ट हैं आपको कुछ हम कहते हैं तो ताजुब होता है थोड़ा आश्चर्य भी होता होगा शायद द फैक्ट इज एट लोकल लेवल वो दुश्मन का दुश्मन दोस्त वाला क्योंकि बोथ ऑफ दम लोग Okay, uh, we'll put that to the Congress. But my question is: Talking about alliances, your party has been in alliance with the Congress in the past. Yes. You opted. You did, you chose to remain neutral on the India alliance. Why was that? Because the Congress did not concede the Lanana. We had to walk out of the alliance in two years, less than two years. In 2004, we came out. We fought hard against them. Eventually, we had to wage a battle to actually uh, make sure that they concede the Lanana. Oh. Mm. Congress is looked at as a party which has always been against the interests of Telangana. So therefore, there is no question about joining them in any kind of alliance or any kind of formation. And more importantly, Barkha, 75 years post independence, the one party which has gotten the maximum number of opportunities is the Congress mm. in the country, 50 plus years. And they all they did was did this squat, really, honestly. So therefore, why would you want a failed party which has failed mm. India, not just itself? Why would you want to align with anybody like that? What would you you call the prime minister in our conversation a scriptwriter? Yes. What would you call Rahul Gandhi? I think Rahul Gandhi is basically a script reader. PM is scriptwriter. Rahul Gandhi is script basically, reader. Rahul Gandhi is not a leader. Oh. He just reads out scripts wherever he goes. कुछ लिख के दे देते हैं पढ़ते जाता है बच्चा ना यहाँ पे आके कहता है ये उनका आदत है आदत से मशबूर है कोलकाता जाते हैं वहाँ कहते हैं दीदी आप बी टीम हो बीजेपी के फिर दिल्ली जाते हैं केजरीवाल को बोलते हैं बी टीम बीजेपी के यहाँ आके कहते हैं के सी आर बी टीम दैट शोस इज इनहेरेंट वीकनेस ऑफ इस पार्टी उनको लगता है कि उन्होंने ठेका ले रखा है मुसलमान के वोटों पर माइनॉरिटी वोट्स पे अगर कोई और आता है एंड दे स्टार्ट मेकिंग एन इम्पैक्टफुल प्रेजेंस Rahul Gandhi and Congress doesn't like it, so therefore they start, you know, this diatribe, name calling, mm. saying V team. What I ask Rahul Gandhi is, please tell us why should the Muslims of this country vote for you? Because after 55 years of your government, consecutive government, Muslims have remained where they are. Your grandmother said, "Garibi hatao." क्या उखाड़ लिया? पचास साल में कुछ नहीं. But are you worried the Muslim vote is shifting in Telangana to the Congress? Thank I don't you. think so. I think Muslims are smart. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Every citizen of Telangana is smarter than what the Congress would like you to believe. They use a B B team phrase for you. You used a B word for him. Well, what do you call a guy? What's the word first? Well, I, I called him a buffoon. Rahul and Gandhi. It, yes, and the reason why I called him a buffoon is because what do you call a guy who accuses K C R Garu of one lakh crore grab in a eighty thousand crore project? The project bhi khatam ho gaya, pani bhi aa raha hai. Is sab dekhne ke baad bhi asi hazar crore mein jo project khatam ho gaya. Usme aake kehta hai aadmi ki ek lakh crore ka gutala ho gaya. Usko kya bolay buffoon nahi? But the essence of the allegation. The sense of the allegation is is it's untrue, it's silly and it's absurd. And nine and a half years, Modi has been saying the same thing. BJP has been saying the same thing. But any iota of evidence, let them go to a court of law and prove it. Who do you uh, disagree with more politically, the Prime Minister and his party, or Rahul Gandhi and his party? Well, we are selective on certain things. I mean, I don't agree with uh, the Prime Minister on his politics of hate. You don't look at India as being exclusive to one community. Unfortunately, BJP seems to think so, and I don't agree with Rahul on the fact that Congress is a needed change in this country because Congress is the biggest white elephant of this country. On the third of December, what do you think the situation or your mood would be like? After we win, we can chat. Will we have the same lunch or a different lunch? If you come to Hyderabad, maybe a different lunch which is less spicy, so that uh, it's very you spicy. Start, uh, you don't sniffle and you know kind of go through. It is very spicy, but it was delicious. But I do, I do, I do want to ask you in the end, KTR. If there's, you're calling Rahul Gandhi a buffoon today. You're calling Prime Minister a scriptwriter. Nothing is permanent in politics. Yeah, they call his names as well. Please remember that they call KCR Karab. They call him lots of other names as well. Nothing is permanent in politics. Tomorrow, if you need them, need them for what? Short of numbers. I think there will be a situation, Barkha, where they will need us. Delhi को घुटनों पे आना पड़ेगा regional parties के पास. Oh. आके उनकी घमंड छोड़ के, उनके बड़े-बड़े pedestal से उतर के, अपने गद्दियों से उतर के, बाहर आए, पूरे हिंदुस्तान में जो performer हैं, उनकी तरफ देखें, बात करें, समझने की कोशिश करें. 
कि क्या करना चाहिए क्या नहीं करना चाहिए जो गलतियां उन्होंने की पिछले पचहत्तर साल में चाहे वो कांग्रेस हो या बीजेपी हो उनको सीखना चाहिए उनको लोगों को भी उनको सबक सिखाना भी चाहिए because the prime minister and his party have all they have in this uh, state assembly is one seat so we don't really need his permission or no objection certificate to decide on our leadership but i can tell you again our leader is in the pink of his health hmm. he will continue to run the state thank you kt ramara for talking to us after a very spicy but delicious lunch we're going to let uh, let him hit the campaign trail uh, in the area of kamaredi uh, which is an ancestral place of his father where KC Ramarao is contesting uh, the second seat and yes you need a lot of these when the spices are as uh, intense as they are in this delicious meal this is barkhadat uh, signing off on the ground in telangana